Hey, quick question for you. How dangerous is your delivery? Here's a couple of ways that you can tell if you've got dangerous delivery with what you're saying. People lean in, they don't interrupt, and they're hanging onto every single word that you're saying. When you're done talking, or if you ask them a question, you hear things like, good question, wow, or never thought about it like that. But ultimately, the way that you can tell if you've really got dangerous delivery, it's the number one way, is if you are compelling people to action. Every time that you're speaking, people are compelled to action. Your words, your dangerous delivery, not just your words. It's not what you say, but it's also how you say it. Embeds in their brain. It gets through their ear, embeds in their brain and takes hold. You've planted a seed, an idea. You've painted a possibility for them that they cannot unsee. That's dangerous delivery. Why is it dangerous? Because there's no forgetting it. You've just exposed them to a new possible reality. You have endangered their status quo and you have challenged them to think bigger because now that they have seen it, thanks to you and your dangerous delivery, they can't unsee it. And eventually, that homeostasis, that's gonna break. Their status quo is no longer gonna become tenable or it will no longer be tenable for them. They're gonna have to do something. So even if it's not right away, right, that timeline where we're gonna estimate and gauge the danger, it's over the course maybe of a lifetime because you've gotta be patient. Why would you be in a rush? This is another major key to effective voice use to effective tonality is to not be needy. So yeah, it's great. If you say something, you compel some people to action and they do something right there, but you don't need them to. That idea is going to last. They will eventually. Or if they won't go towards that possibility that you have exposed them to, it's gonna drag them down. It's gonna weigh them down. It's gonna cost them a tremendous amount to feel that pull, to hear that call and not do anything with it. I mean, has this ever happened to you? There's a version of you that you feel called to become, things that you know you need to start doing in order to level up and get out of where you're at. Habits, beliefs, behaviors, mindsets that you need to start adopting, action that you need to take. Maybe that idea first got exposed to you because you saw somebody and you looked at them and you said, you saw what they have, you saw what they believed, you saw what they were doing. They have results, they have fruit. And you wanted that for yourself because you saw them as no better, no worse than you, which is really the ultimate reality. Nobody is any better or any worse than we are individually. There's only two things here. They're believing something that we don't believe or what they're doing, their habits, their beliefs, their behaviors, their mindset are more aligned with what they are called, what they are built to do than what we are doing. That's why copycatting doesn't work and it doesn't exist. There is no threat of somebody stealing your idea because nobody's ever gonna do it the way that you do it. It's not what, it's not how. It's who.